what's going on guys today we're going to be ranking the best tight ends in madden 20. Uh, looking at the tight end position it's definitely one of the weakest positions in the game right now there's not many top tier tight ends so in the second half of the list is just kind of like all irrelevant tight ends that you would never really use especially after the market crash but um how i'm ranking these players is based on their athleticism uh run blocking receiving ability and also their price will factor into where they're ranked so um yeah that'll play a huge part where they're ranked but before we start hit that subscribe button we're only seven subs away from 300 um once we hit 300 subs i am gonna be doing a giveaway i'm not too sure about the details on that but, but i'll make a dedicated video about the giveaway i'm probably gonna give away a couple of uh, ultimate legends maybe the tyree kill too i'm not sure yet but for sure doing, i'm for sure doing a giveaway so um yeah let's hop into the list all right so the first guy on the list is delaney walker 88 speed 87 acceleration he's one of the best run blockers he's a gold 99 when you power him up uh 93 catching 87 short route running 87 release unfortunately i don't think this card's gonna be affected by the market crash but um yeah this card is definitely solid because of the gold 99 because of the great run blocking um his receiving isn't that special but the run blocking is what makes this card special so um yeah he's s for sure right, now we got tony gonzalez 89 speed 91 acceleration 96 jump uh to me he's the best receiving tight end in the game um i don't think that's a bold statement when i say that but he is definitely the best receiving tight end in the game he's 6'5 um, if you throw matchup nightmare on not only on this card but on any of these tight end cards they're gonna go crazy um yeah matchup nightmare is one of the most overpowered abilities in the game and no one really uses it so but yeah if you haven't tried matchup nightmare yet i would definitely test it out but yeah but this card is all around glitchy so he's also an s tier all right now we got antonio gates 87 speed 92 acceleration 97 jump he's 6'4 uh, 97 catching 90 short route running 85 deep route running He's actually pretty good after the catch with an 86 stiff arm and a, an 86 juke move. But yeah, he's not at the level of a Delaney Walker or Tony Gonzalez because he doesn't have the run blocking of a Delaney Walker and because he's not the receiver that Tony Gonzalez is. I'm going to put him at A. All right, the next card is Darren Waller. 92 speed, 92 acceleration, 91 jump. Um, he's 6'6 with a, with, a 90, with a 95 catch, a 98 release. He's a pretty bad route runner, but he's a good run blocker and he's pretty decent after the catch. But because of the speed... I know his route running isn't that good, but the speed makes the route running worth it to me. So, um, yeah, Darren Wall is also an S tier. All right, we got Kellen Winslow. 90 speed, 89 acceleration, 95 catch, 96 short route running, 85 release. He's 6'5". Him and Gates are very similar. Um, a lot of these guys on the top on the top of the list are all chargers, which is which I find pretty funny. Like Hunter Henry. He, I appreciate yeah, he, Hunter Henry is next. Um, yeah, so let's go to Hunter Henry. No power up. Uh, 88 speed, 93 acceleration, 86 jump, 94 catch. Uh, but what makes this card good is his 87 run block. He's a pretty decent receiver, but he's a very elite run blocker. So, so he should have a spot on a lot of teams. To me, he's not on the level of Winslow and Gates. So I'm gonna put him down here at B. All right, next up, George Kittle. I actually pulled this card earlier in my uh, the, in the Grand Egg opening. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I'll put a card in the uh, top right for that too. So, all right, so George Kittle, 88 speed. 89 acceleration 95 catch he's well rounded in all receiving stats and he's also an elite run blocker i mean this card this card is going to be affected massively by the market crash so for that reason george kittle probably the best 10 that you couldn't pick up that's going to be affected by the market crash so uh, s tier for george kittle for sure and i got shannon sharp 89 speed 88 acceleration 88 jump 92 catch he's a pretty decent run blocker uh he's great after the catch great short and medium route running and you can get this card for around 100k that was before the um market crash i'm not too sure what he's at now probably in the same spot as like a uh where the rest of the ultimate legends are which is around like 80k so i would usually put this card at b but because of the price i'm gonna put him at a um he's not as good as a run blocker as george Kittle, um but he's still pretty solid so i'm gonna put him at a right now we get 96 mark andrews 90 speed 94 acceleration 94 catch uh, mid to high 80s and all his route running he's pretty nasty after the catch um, he's a decent run blocker and for 100 and for around 100k on um, this card is very solid so we'll put him at a2 all right now we got algae crumpler never seen this card used or used this card ever but 85 speed uh, 87 acceleration 89 truck with a 87 stiff arm and a 94 catch i mean this card's not really anything special and his run block isn't that solid either so i'm gonna put a uh, algae down here and see all right the next card's austin hooper no power up 85 speed he's a great run blocker um short yardage guy but for around 100k but this was before the market crash so i'm not sure what his card is at now uh, this card isn't worth it unless he drops to like 50k then i could see someone then i could see you picking up this card but other than that 
um yeah i would probably wouldn't get this card he's, he's a little expensive for what he can do so i'm gonna put him down here at c next to algae or right, now we got gronk 86 speed 85 excel 83 jump 93 catch 94 catch in traffic he's pretty good after the catch he's a good stiff arm and uh break tackle he, he also he also has a pretty decent run blocker but because he's gronk and madden just makes this guy play crazy also if you would put your abilities on gronk he gets a uh a ability where he can't get hit sticked or he's not affected by hits or something like that but yeah this gronk card's a beast now we got zach Ertz, 85 speed 89 acceleration 97 catch 95 short route running with a 92 medium route running uh, he's one of the best short yardage tight ends in the game but he's not you, you don't want to use this guy for run blocking because he's not gonna be able to block anyone um but the receiving stats make this card pretty solid so i'm gonna put him at b all right travis kelsey 86 speed uh, 89 acceleration 93 catch 93 ca catch in traffic he's a great receiver but also a bad run blocker just like Ertz. so i'm gonna put those two right next to each other all right eric ebron no power up 88 speed 90 acceleration he's great after the catch decent receiving stats um, but he's really nothing special. So uh, for that reason, I have him down here next to Austin Hooper and Algy at C. All right, Dave Casper, 85 speed, 85 acceleration, 90 catch, decent run blocker, decent receiver. Um, but to me, the speed on this card doesn't make him that, like it, it just hurts this card a lot. So I'll put him down here at C as well. All right, now we got Jimmy Graham. This card also does not have a power up. He's 6'7 with a 92 jump, 97 catching, 86 short route running, but he only has 82 speed so he's only really relevant if you can get him open in the red zone or like for short yardage and he also can't even run block so for that reason i'm putting down here at d all right jj watt no power up 83 speed he's basically like a better run blocking jimmy graham so for that reason i'm gonna put him up here at c all right next card is oj howard 86 speed 90 acceleration 91 catching 86 short route running he's a pretty decent run blocker but he only has a 73 jump and a 78 release which just kills this card so i'm putting him down here at c as well and now we have Mike Jacecki, no power up, 87 speed, 90 acceleration, 90 catching, uh, 88 short route running. Can't run block, but it's pretty decent after the catch. And he's also pretty cheap. So for that reason, I'm putting up here at B with uh, Ertz and Kelsey. All right, now we got Dallas Clark, 84 speed, 92 catch, 92 catch in traffic, uh, 89, sh 89 short route running, 90 medium route running. But he can't run block and only has an 81 jump. So, um, yeah, I'm going to put this guy down here at D. This card's just not that good. All right, now we have Jared Cook. This card is free if you chose him out of your gauntlet. Uh, 84 speed, 89 acceleration, nine, 90 jump, 92 catch, 86 short route running. This, so because this card is free, if he wasn't free, he'd be down here at D. But because he's free, you got to put him up here at uh, C. All right, now we have Tyler Eifert. I've never seen this card. I didn't even know this card existed until I did this list. So uh, here's Tyler Eifert. No power up. 84 speed 88 acceleration 92 jumping 87 catch 84 short route running he's actually a pretty decent run blocker and he's pretty inexpensive so um i mean usually i'd put a card at c like him but this card is not that solid at all so i'm going down here at a d all right now we got evan ingram 88 speed 89 acceleration the 86 catch is honestly too high for any evan ingram card this dude just drops passes in the nfl every single week um but anyways he's a pretty decent route runner and and uh and he also can't run block so if it wasn't for the speed evan ingram would be a d but because he's pretty quick i'm gonna put him back up here at c now, now we got kyle rudolph 80 78 speed he can't run block has a 96 catch with an 87 route running uh 89 release he's decent after the catch but i mean with the low speed he can't really do anything he's not beating anyone um so for that reason he's also a d right, now we got Taysom hill probably one of my favorite tight ends on this list i used this card when it came out until the shannon sharp dropped the ultimate legend so yeah i did put a lot of time with this card uh, 90 speed 88 acceleration 92 jump 89 catch he's great after the catch this card way this card does play way above his stats even though the route runnings are low this card just plays really nice so if you're if you're in need of a tight end this guy's pretty budget so uh for that reason take some holiday as well all right so here's the final list in S tier, we got uh, Delaney Walker, Tony Gonzalez, Darren Waller, and George Kittle. I'm pretty happy with how this list turned out, but I didn't realize how weak the tight end position actually was. Madden's definitely got to upgrade some of the lower tier guys like uh, Evan Ingram or a uh, OJ Howard. Or, I mean, maybe they can give Jimmy Graham like an ultimate legend card. That'd be pretty cool. I don't remember what year, but one year the, the Jimmy Graham and Madden was just broken. I don't remember what year that was, but yeah. All right, so if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. We're almost at 300 subscribers. 
Uh, once we hit that, like I said, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway, so be on, be on the lookout for that video. Once we hit 300 subs, I'm gonna drop that video with with all the details and stuff like that. So and yeah, thank you guys for all the support lately. It's been kind of crazy. I wasn't expecting to hit 300 this fast. Maybe we can even hit 400 by the end of April. That'd be pretty crazy, but I don't think that's gonna happen. That'd be hard. Maybe you guys can do it, but that'd be very very hard. Um, but uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, uh, leave a like, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.